Well, what's happening on the GPP New Zealand? On the GPP New Zealand, I'm actually looking for a sell opportunity considering this long, this strong bearish impulse leg that we identified here during the course of last week's trading session. So I was expecting that price will come into this sell opportunity zone where I will be looking for opportunity to sell this pair um, later on in the week. But unfortunately, price did not get into that zone and we saw multiple rejection of this level, which is right at 1.196 area. So for me right now, at this point, 1.96 might probably be our new key level on this juncture in the market. So if we look at what look left and we spool out our line chart, can we find a common level where we can, okay, I think somewhere around, somewhere around here appears to be a key level that we could work with. So for clarity's sake, allow me to label this key level at 1.96 area. What does our key level do to us? Our key level is just a parameter we'll be using to monitor price action, to, to guide our action going forward. So what does that mean? Anywhere above key level, we hold and anywhere below the key level, we try to sell. So that's that. So now it appears price is rejecting that 1.96 area, giving me a, uh, an idea that we might not be getting that sell opportunity. And why is that so? So when I look left and I look at that impulse leg, which I measured using my retracement tool, I realized that uh, we had a reversal pattern here. We had it. We had a neckline here, a double bottom top structure, and we saw that breakdown of that trend line, and I think a retest around this area before this impulse leg move. So what does that simply mean? It means that I will adjust my, my retracement tool to somewhere around here, right below that neckline. And it, when I did that, I had somewhere Okay, we had somewhere around here as our buy, our sell opportunity zone. So now that we, we've we identified price within our sell opportunity zone, then we should be looking forward to opportunities that will support a trend continuation to the downside. So scaling down to a much lower time frame, let's say the two hours time frame, what do we see on the two hours time frame? On the two hours time frame, we have six structure. We saw this impulse move. We saw multiple rejection, and this one looks more like a double top, where we still waiting for confirmation in the form signal in the form of a breakdown, confirmation in the form of a retest of structure, where we look for trend continuation to the downside. So with this idea here on the on the what's it called or the GPP New Zealand. We will be looking for ways through which we can sell and look for structure that will support our selling buyers on this one. So when I spooled out my line chart and run, try to find a, what's it called? A trend line. We had something like this around here. And allow me to make this more. I want to use, I don't want to extend this. So I had something around here. So going into the new week, this should be our guide going into the new week as a breakdown of this trend line. We'll send all signals out for a, tr a downtrend continuation. So in this regard, Allow me to identify our neckline around this area at 1.94250. We have a neckline right here. Let's give this a purple. So we have a neckline right here.
So going into the new week, we want to be looking for a breakdown of that structure as a signal, which also shares a confidence with the trend line, then a retest into either the trend line or the neckline should give us a confirmation that supports a trend continuation to the downside. And so if that finally happens, definitely we want to be taking a opening a position right below this, this neckline where we will be looking for selling opportunities where we have our entry point here and we have our take profit target probably around here for the meantime which is around 300 pips and we have our stop loss right above that um, neckline at this point so this is what we want to be looking out for in the new week however if situation allows a scenario where we see a reverse price go back into this key level and we see structures that support a trend continuation to the downside, I wouldn't mind joining that trade. But there is no cost, to co cost for alarm as I will definitely be doing a regular update in the comment section on my trading view account as price action has been monitored. And whenever I see an opportunity that's lying up in our favor, I will definitely share in the comment section on my TradingView account. So in this regard, I would like to pause this video this moment and let's see what happens when the market opens. Thank you.